Breaking news, what has happened to Fire Sticks? Turns out Fire TV Sticks are no more. The popular streaming device has been discontinued. What do we do now? Over to our reporter in the field, Doc Squiffy. So, do you use a Fire Stick? Fire TV Stick, how long have you been using one for? Have you moved on from Fire Sticks? I've been using now probably, let's say, eight years. But I was using them before that. Eight years on YouTube, maybe, and doing videos, trying to help you guys out. Let me know what device you're using. Chuck that in the comments underneath. And do remember to hit that follow button. So Fire TV Sticks, the original Fire TV Sticks, not just the originals, but the standard Fire TV Stick. The one which was the cheap option, that Fire TV Stick. What is going on? So before I quickly show you what's going on, like I say, if you are a streaming user, a Fire TV Stick user, anything along those lines, do let me know. And do remember to hit that follow button, whatever platform you're watching on, or hit that subscribe button because we've got all the videos you need for Fire Sticks and streaming and how to watch streaming online. But it turns out the original Fire TV Stick or the Fire TV Stick is no more. Now, that Fire TV Stick, which everyone looked for, which was probably, it went down probably to 1999, you can't get it anymore. Do check it in your country because as far as I'm aware, in UK, America, you can no longer get the Fire TV Stick. But what you can now get is, you've got the Fire TV Stick Lite, always, we go into that. You've got the Fire TV Stick HD, which is their new version. You've got the Fire TV Stick 4K, and then you've got the Fire TV Stick 4K Max. And obviously after that, if you go down, you've got the TVs, the cubes, that sort of stuff. But the Fire TV Stick used to be their basic option. The standard option you could buy, you could log in with, and that would be your go-to. And the people obviously either selling it or the standard you go, well, I don't want to waste a load of money. I'm just going to buy a £20 one or a £29.99 one, get a Fire TV stick, and we'll go from there. But that's been stopped, discontinued. And they've released this new, brand new Fire TV stick HD. But don't be fooled, okay? As what you know, and I've been telling you for a long time, the Fire TV stick light is a bit weak, okay? It's a bit of a weak product. Um, most people you hear compa complaining about streaming on Fire Sticks or Amazon products, you say, what are you using? They've either got a basic Fire Stick or a Fire TV Stick Lite. And we can look at the stats and we can look at what they contain. But what you'll see here is even here, the Fire TV Stick HD is pretty much a Fire TV Stick Lite. And that's it. But they haven't actually changed anything. Okay. Even the Fire TV Stick HD has one gig of RAM. You know, I know we don't need a lot of RAM to stream things and it will work but you're gonna ask for trouble, especially if you're running things like a VPN, that sort of stuff. So, Fire TV Stick is no more. Don't buy a Fire TV Stick Lite, personally. Um, Fire TV Stick HD is pretty much just a, a light with a different name. As you can see, it's not very often that a Fire TV device gets like only three stars. The rest of them have got nearly five, all the way up there, okay? It's because it's not that good. You go up slightly to a 4K, and then you're already getting two gig of RAM, so that's double the um, the RAM to, for processing, so you can run more than one app at a time. That's not much more storage, but you've got better Wi-Fi, you've got your Dolby Atmos, it's all in there, okay? So you need that sort of stuff. You go one more little step, keep an eye up, offers that sort of stuff, you get two gig of RAM and you get more storage. Uh, the Fire TV Stick Max, for me, because of the processing power as well, which is slightly higher, is one of my favorite devices, okay? The Fire TV Stick Max, 4K Gen, I actually think is better than the Fire TV Cube 3, which I might go into on another video. But for me, I feel it's better. But, you know, we're all slightly different. But in my eyes, please, obviously you can't get the Fire TV Stick now. I tried reviewing a Fire TV Stick Gen 1 not long ago. It did still work, but it was hard work. Fire TV Stick HD is just a Fire TV Stick Lite trying to sell them off. They just rebranded it. Fire TV Stick HD... Don't worry. So don't get anything under a Fire TV Stick 4K or move on to your Android boxes or your NVIDIA Shields. But if you're just after streaming, you know, the Fire TV Stick 4K and the 4K Max, perfectly fine. If you're after gaming, these aren't really the devices for you. They run off cloud gaming. It kind of works, but, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be cloud gaming like cloud gaming on anything. Brilliant. 
again that was a quick video tonight what day are we on it's only early in the week so do remember to hit that follow button we've got loads of videos coming this week a quick word from one of our partners where i talk about running multiple apps on your device the thing that a lot of people do um, and a lot of people need to do even if you run an onbox and you're setting it up in other countries these days you need a vpn on there that keeps it safe keeps it secure and that you can change your location to where it needs to be so it works well for you so if you want a vpn on a great deal I'll link one underneath. IP Vanish, we are partner with, we do get a small commission, helps um, support the channel. For those who can't see the link, it, it's above us, docsquiffy.com forward slash VPN offer. Everybody else, I'll link it underneath. So if you don't find it underneath or in my bio, just follow that link, which we just shared, docsquiffy.com forward slash VPN offer. I almost can't say it, brilliant. So I've been Doc Squiffy. come and check out the YouTube channel if you're watching on another platform. For the rest of you, have a nice evening. Enjoy what's going on and let me know your thoughts on what this news is. 